Hi, welcome back to another MCAT question of the day. I'm Theo Bennett, one of the many tutors at MCAT Self Prep, and I personally used our free MCAT e-course to get a perfect 528 on the MCAT exam. Today I'm going to be walking you through one of the many questions found at MCATSelfPrep.com as if you were one of my private tutoring students. So let's go ahead and get started. Today's question comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz of the behavioral science section. Specifically, we're talking about psychoactive drugs. Now, before we answer this question, why don't you take a moment and try it out for yourself? Go ahead and press pause. Okay, now that we're back, let's dive right in. But first we need to learn a little bit more about dopamine. While dopamine has been popularized as the pleasure drug, it actually has many different functions within the brain. Specifically, they're listed here. What we're primarily concerned with is the mesolimbic pathway that, in, that originates right here in the nucleus accumbens and spreads throughout the frontal cortex. The most important thing is that this pathway is involved in pleasure and euphoria, and specifically within addiction. So anything that increases this pathway right here will increase addictive potential. The next thing that we need to understand is how neurotransmitters are inactivated. The first step in the neurotransmitter cycle is release from presynaptic vesicles. These vesicles are formed within the presynaptic cell and then attach here at the presynaptic membrane. Ultimately, they're released due to exocytosis, which then diffuse across the synaptic cleft to attach to receptors on the postsynaptic cell. Once this process has occurred, these neurotransmitters will be eliminated in a few different mechanisms. The first mechanism is the most common, and that is just simple diffusion. It will either diffuse out of this space or into the bloodstream, where it will be taken up and distributed to other places throughout the body. The other possibility is it could be taken up by glial cells. Can you think about which glial cells moderate and provide homeostasis within the brain? That's right, that's going to be the astrocytes. The last possibility is that this neurotransmitter can be broken down by enzymes into different parts. Specifically, this happens with acetylcholine, and the enzyme involved is acetylcholinesterase. However, other neurotransmitters can also be broken down as well. So, just to recap, neurotransmitters can diffuse out, they can be taken up by the blood, or they can be taken up into supporting cells like astrocytes. And finally, they can be broken down by enzymes. To answer this question, we need to understand that we're talking about nicotine withdrawal. The withdrawal is what is causing hospitalization. And so, in order to decrease the potential for hospitalization, we need to prevent the withdrawal. So, we're looking for an answer that will actually increase levels of dopamine. A drug that will enhance the reuptake of, an, of dopamine will actually decrease dopamine that's found within the synaptic cleft. This would be a drug that would facilitate the removal by astrocytes and blood and other things like that. Also, we need a drug that will increase dopamine, and so we don't want to prevent the release of dopamine, like A or B. In fact, dopamine is actually only going to be, re be released from the presynaptic cleft and not from the postsynaptic. So that leaves us with C, which would be our answer. As always, if you found this video to be helpful, be sure to like, like and subscribe so that you can get notified when we release future videos. And if you are interested, you can also check out more practice problems and practice questions and answers on mcatselfprep.com. We have thousands of questions here, uh, as well as explanations, and they're all tailored right for the AMC style. Our mission at MCAT Self Prep is to provide you with the most high yield material at the lowest cost possible. We're here to break down barriers for those who are trying to achieve success for the MCAT.